Hello and welcome back to Scorpio Tech. In today's video we're going to take a look at the 2020 Li Pao Z1 portable monitor that features an improved level of brightness and colour gamut. The box is very nicely presented in a sturdy white box with some additional information such as the 15.6 inch screen size along with a HDMI, USB Type-C and 3.5mm headphone jack support. Initially in the box we have the USB Type-A wall adapter as well as a USB Type-A to USB Type-C cable for powering the device. The monitor is priced at $199 or £190, but you can currently save an additional $25 or £20 off that price on Amazon. The monitor has a resolution of 1920x1080 and a maximum refresh rate of 60Hz, meaning you can quite comfortably play games, work and watch movies through this device. Not only this, but the IPS screen also allows for much better viewing angles than alternative monitors. Also included in the box is a plastic screen protector, a user guide, an excellent 3.5 year warranty, a cleaning kit, a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable, a HDMI to mini HDMI cable, and of course the device itself. I personally think it's great that Leepo included a whole array of cables in the box to cover practically all possibilities and scenarios in terms of usage. For example, USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable can transfer both power and data, so if your device supports USB Type-C, the chances are that you only need to use one cable for both power and the visuals, which is absolutely fantastic. But if not, you simply use the USB Type-A to USB Type-C cable for the power, and then the HDMI to mini HDMI cable for the data. Now, you might be wondering what is the purpose of this device, so let me run through just a few of the examples. The Leepo Z1 is ideal for use as a second monitor for a laptop. This adds invaluable screen real estate for work purposes and so on. It can also connect to consoles such as your Xbox, PlayStation or Nintendo Switch. You can also connect your phone, it can assist massively with photo and video editing and so much more. So now let's take a look at the device itself. One of the most attractive features of the Leepo monitor is its ultralight and thin frame. It weighs just 1.76 pounds or 0.8 kilograms and has dimensions of 36.8 centimeters wide, 22.5 centimeters high, and is just 0.9 centimeters thick. As well as all of this, the monitor also has built-in stereo speakers, which is an incredible addition considering how thin the screen is. After unveiling the monitor, we can see it comes within an iPad-esque magnetic case. This helps protect from dust and scratches whilst also doubling as a horizontal and vertical stand when need be. This saves carrying around any additional accessories such as a dedicated stand, making it much more portable and practical. Visually, the device looks very sleek and feels fairly premium with a very solid build structure. My only dislike about the way the device looks is how in your face the Leepai branding is, but that's just my preference. On the one side of the screen we have the power button, the menu operational button, the USB Type-C input and one of the screen speakers as well. On the opposite side of the device we have the 3.5mm headphone jack input, another USB Type-C input for data this time, the mini HDMI input and also the second of the stereo speakers. With everything unboxed and the device's features covered, it's time to see what it's actually like in realistic scenarios. The setting up of the device depends on which device you actually want to connect. For example, a game console will be via a HDMI to mini HDMI and a USB Type-A to USB Type-C cable, whereas a modern laptop may only require the single USB Type-C cable for power and data, as mentioned earlier in the video. To begin with, I connected to my PC. I don't have a USB Type-C input so I had to use the HDMI cable and the USB Type-A to Type-C cable to connect. Once plugged in, the device immediately woke and extended my monitors. In some cases, you will have to do this manually but this is easily resolved in your computer's display settings. The Leepan monitor also has a pretty good selection of options to customise your display settings, such as brightness, contrast, black level, sharpness and a whole bunch of preset modes to fit any given task. After adjusting the settings to my liking, I firstly decided to test the monitor out with some games to see how it performs both visually and how it handles the latency. And oh boy, I was not ready for quite how good it looked. I noticed no latency at all and the visuals of the full HD IPS panel were really quite something. Everything about it felt so fluid that I instantly became engrossed in the game. After playing Halo for longer than I care to admit, I then decided to try out the Nintendo Switch. I'll leave the raw audio in so you can get a hint of what the speakers sound like. It's 
So as you'd expect, the speakers aren't that great. They do lack any depth or bass, but honestly, most people are going to be using headphones anyway, and I think it's a great feature to have for those scenarios when you need to play the audio aloud. Moving away from games, I decided to test out how the Lipau Z1 worked as a secondary photo editing screen, and once again, it was absolutely a pleasure to use. For those people that only have a single laptop, this device can double the amount of screen space you have without hindering the portability at all. It's essentially a portable dual monitor setup which could easily increase your productivity for a whole bunch of work related tasks. Now I'm not sure how well the image quality will be relayed to you through YouTube but trust me when I say that it seriously packs a punch and I would highly recommend this device to those people who have limited space or who are often on the move and wish to work and play more practically. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.